Hello and welcome to A Plan for the with Experts video series. My name is Bernd Gerstenberger. I'm Knowledge Domain Expert for AutoCAD and Specialized Toolset and Escalation Lead for AutoCAD Plan for the. Today's topic are the new features of AutoCAD Plan for the 2023. We have several new features to present. The new features will be presented in separate videos. This video is the first part of a new feature series for 2023. In this video, I want to present the new feature, Auto Single Line Piping. In AutoCAD Plan 3D 2023, you are able to create autographic drawings with single line piping to simplify the auto drawings. This makes it easier to clarify important or complex piping arrangements. Therefore, we have two new buttons in the auto ribbon, Single Line Tool and Single Line Display. Behind Single Line Tool, there's a command Plant Auto Single Line Piping. Before you can use this command in your auto drawing, you have to toggle on Single Line Display, which is a new system variable Plant Auto Single Line Display. When it is toggled on, click Single Line Tool. You will be asked to select a viewport. Now a selection list pops up. We have several options here. Let us try the very first one, All Piping. In the next pop-up you have a choice to select Update, which is the command Update View, or Exit. Let us try the Update Selection item first. As you can see, all normal double line pipelines are changed to single lines. Fittings like T's are removed. Let us undo this by reselecting single line tool, but this time the option double line piping or piping update. The option double line piping is always available when some of the components are shown in single line mode. Now, let us try the exit option. Is it like cancelling the command or just executing single line without update view? It is the last one. Let us repeat the steps again, this time with option exit. Click single line tool, select the viewport. Choose all piping, but this time exit. It looks like nothing has happened, but if you run now update view, you see that everything is in single line view. Let us go to the beginning and try the other options. First, the line number option. Beside of one branch, which has a line number 20, all other components do have a line number 10. When I choose the option by line number, I have to select one component afterwards. The selected component defines which line number I want to see in single line mode. Next option is the size option. In this model, all components do have a size 100, but one branch has the size 80. When I select this mod, I will be asked in the command line which is the largest pipe size to be shown as single line. Enter value here in our example 90. Now you will be asked to specify the smallest pipe size to be shown as single line. We will enter 50 here. 
Again, you will be asked to update or to exit. We are selecting update. Now we can see that the branch of size 80 is in single line mode. There's another very good option to select by property. In my model, I have added for one component for property item code the value hello. Let us try this. First, I have to enter the real property name item code without a space, so not the display name. And afterwards, you have to enter the value for which you have are searching for for this property in this example hello. The one single component for which I have filled the property item code by this well will be shown in a single line mode. The last option is verify by selection. When you're using this option, you can either select separately components or by a window. Now let us talk about the button single line display. If you toggle it off, it will get the value zero. To see the change, you have to run update view. If you click it again, the system variable will be set to the value 2. Again, you have to run up that view again to see the changes. Turning on again shows the lightest view. If you have selected just the component uh, with item code equal to hello or just by a selection list, then only those will be shown in single line mode. But if you turn it off and system variable gets number zero and turning on will cause to get number two, what is about number one? You can use value one not by the button but by entering the system variable manually into the command line. If a value is set to 2, the already selected line is in, in single line mode are highlighted during selection process. You see everything here is already highlighted here as well. If I set it to one, they aren't. So now they aren't highlighted. So this was a new feature, Auto Single Line Piping. I hope it is useful for you. And this is what I wanted to present this first part of a series about new features in 2023 today. I'm looking forward for your comments to this video. Thank you for your time and goodbye.